this demonstration, we're going to put Norton Internet Security 2010 through the 70 Threat Challenge. Let's go ahead and get it updated right off here. Okay, as you can see, live update is finished. We have all the updates and the latest definitions installed. So let's go ahead and get started. And as always, we haven't modified any of the settings on this program. Uh, all the settings are out of the box, just as a normal user would install them. So let's go ahead and minimize it down. And we'll open up our handy Process Explorer. The Process Explorer shows us all the applications and all the processes running inside this machine. So we know that this is a clean machine at the moment. The only thing that's installed on it is Norton Internet Security 2010. And the goal behind the 70 Threat Challenge is we have a folder here on the desktop with 70 rogue antivirus uh, products. Uh, there's some malware in there, viruses, all the usual nasty stuff. And we go ahead and we execute or run each one of these threats back to back. So the goal of the challenge is either the machine sort of melts down and is infected with uh, some of these threats or the security app is able to prevent all the threats. Uh, in the event that the given security app is able to make it through the test, most of the time you'll see that Process Explorer really has minimal activity, very low CPU utilization. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is sort of the worst case scenario we've created here. So let's go ahead and run down through these back to back. Alright, so we're getting down the list here. We're getting a lot of pop-ups. Whoops, I hit something by accident there on Symantec. I'm pretty sure it was the deny button. We'll keep on moving down through. We'll start towards the bottom of the list and come up. Some of the threats are actually being prevented. You'll notice Norton giving us some pop-ups down here. No action necessary, which is uh, quite nice there that we're not really having to interact with the software. Uh, however, if you notice Task Manager, uh, there's a lot of threats running here that should not be running. So that's, that's not a good sign initially here. Let's keep on going through. Yeah, let's click the Remove, of course. We're still going, and we're not in good shape here. I'm going to keep on going as we always do, if we can. Sometimes the machine will lock up, but we'll try to get all the way through here or at least most of the way through. Still going up a list. I'm going to get all the way to the top of the list so we just know that we've made it all the way. Uh, clicking remove on Symantec there. And again, we don't recommend anybody do this at home. This is in a professional lab environment uh, where we have all these things contained so they're not able to do any damage. Um, outside of this virtualized environment here. You can see Symantec's fighting pretty hard, but we're looking at an awful lot of Process Explorer activity here. Again, not a, not a good sign. You can see Cursor Mania, some Rogue AV, My Web Search, classic My Web Search there. Um, just things spawning and running. Probably got 50, 60 processes here. So Symantec's wanting to remove some things. Let's go ahead and move on through the list to make sure we get all the way through it. These are getting a lot of pop-ups here. Let's keep going. I think I've made it to the top of the list. I, I jumped down to the bottom. I think we're going to go ahead and conclude the test at this point. As you can see, uh, Norton Internet Security 10 is certainly an improvement over the past products. Uh, however, they're still relying upon heuristics and definitions uh, in a, in a uh, uh, reputation-based system. Um, you have to wonder, seeing the results here, um, you know, where, the, where the real improvement is here. And this is a, a true prevention test. Uh, certainly, you're, you're most likely not going to run into 70 threats back-to-back, -back, but um, a quality security app should have no problem uh, dealing with this type of event. So we'll go ahead and conclude this test. And this was Norton Internet Security 2010. Thanks for watching.